right before us here is a fairly unique setup. We have a Sony A7. This is A7R. It's got a power zoom lens on it. Uh, it is a 28 to 135 zoom lens. Plugged into the camera is a Gentwire 181 cable, which of course controls start, stop, and zoom functions. Sitting next to the camera is a FLIR VIEW Pro R 640 resolution thermal imager. Just kind of sits balanced like so. I've made a uh, 3D printed uh, designed bracket here that goes in between the two uh, two tubes, uh, quarter 20 mounting it. Uh, the flare view sits to the side of the gimbal, butted it up against there, and um, kind of keeps it uh, straight and level. Powering the FLIR and the Movi is just one single battery uh, on a Y cable. This particular gimbal will also have a Connex HD downlink for the A7, uh, which will be uh, mounted shortly. Controlling all of this is a Futaba setup. We've got an R7008SB receiver. Giving a video downlink from the FLIR is a Black Mamba video transmitter, 2 watt. Made a custom cable that goes from the video in to an RCA jack. And the power as well runs along the bottom of it to the Y cable. Plugging into the flare view is the cables that come with it, the um, USB cable, as well as the Molex connector that has the PWM as well as the Mavlink connector on it. These will be zip tied and secured a little bit better uh, with the customer's own wiring that will come with his flare view. So right now they're just kind of sitting loose. But I've got the PWM 3 and 4 plugged into the R7008SB. As well I have the two connectors that go to the Gentwire 181 controlling the Sony also plugged in. So these PWM cables are plugged into 5, 6, 7, and 8. Yeah, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, I'm pulling power for the view off of the receiver itself with a USB connector that I made for it. USB plugs into there. And just got it mounted on the side. Pretty simple. Everything's all balanced. Got it in dual mode. This is the controller. It's a Futaba 14SG. On the left side, these are the controls for the thermal. You have your start stop, as well as your ability to change the palette. So in this case, he has a white hot, black hot, and a fusion. And then pulling this back, we'll start recording or start taking pictures, whichever you set it up in the app as. On the right side, is your Sony video controller. So you got uh, pushing this away from you, we'll start a vid or start recording video. The middle position is idle, Pu pushing the switch back uh, takes a picture. Um, this is the mode switch for the movie itself, so I can put it into kill mode. I can pull it back into Majestic and Dual. Controlling the zoom, I am using the throttle stick. So pushing it this way zooms in, pulling it that way zooms out. So you can see the screen here. Zoom. You can see the logo here. I'll take the diffuser off and the protector. See a cleaner picture. And let's go ahead and tilt it down so we can see the screen a little bit better. There we go. So I'll zoom in. And zoom out. There we go. Zoom in. And zoom out. Simple as that. 
And here again is the picture for the thermal. Move the gimbal. You can kind of see when you tilt up or tilt down. And so on. So yeah, all in all this is a thermal and color inspection solution built upon a Movi M5 which will be flown by an Alta Freefly Alta 8. If you have any questions on that, please give us a call 406-897-1027.